Five interesting facts from the subject human performance and limitations. Let's go! Fact number one. Runway width matters. Most people know that the length of a runway is important, but did you know that the width is also important? It's actually also published on charts and part of a briefing, especially if the runway isn't the standard width. The reason is that if a runway is narrower or wider than a pilot is used to, this might lead to illusions. Experienced pilots, after a while, they just get used to the way an approach is supposed to look visually. But if the runway width is different to what they're used to, it might lead to them thinking they're high or low on the approach. For example, take a look at this picture. It looks like as though the aircraft are not at the same height, right? But if you look onto the radio altimeter, which shows the height above ground, you can see that they're actually both at 100 feet. So this is an illusion and it can lead to the pilot believing he's too high or too low on the approach, which can cause him to land short or long. It's very important to know about these illusions beforehand because the only way of coping with them is to mentally prepare for them and to know that they might occur. Fact number two. Night vision can take up to 30 minutes to achieve best performance. The reason is that the pigment rhodopsine, which is also called um, visual purple in the retina, is extremely sensitive to light, which enables our night vision. But if it gets exposed to very bright lights, it bleaches out immediately, and it can take up to 30 minutes to fully recover. That's why it's also extremely important to preserve night vision when flying at night by avoiding any bright lights. Fact number three. Hypoxia and hyperventilation have very similar symptoms. Hypoxia is caused by a lack of oxygen in the blood, for example, due to inadequate pressurization when flying at a high altitude, whereas hyperventilation leads to decreased CO2 levels in the blood, for example, due to excessive rate or depth of breathing. Cyanosis, which causes blue lips and skin, occurs only when someone is hypoxic, so it is taught as a way of distinguishing the two. And it can be relevant to know if somebody is hypoxic or just hyperventilating, because hypoxia would affect everyone on board, including flight crew, and also causes symptoms like euphoria and lack of judgment, which is pretty bad. Fact number four. Sleep pattern is closely associated with body temperature. Small fluctuations in body temperature control the natural human circadian rhythm, which controls our sleep-wake cycle. The temperature drops in the evening to signal that it's time to go to bed, and it even also helps in falling asleep. In the morning, the temperature increases again to tell the body that it's time to wake up. Fact number five. The human factor is the most common cause for accidents in aviation. Nowadays, technology is very reliable and technical failures have become rarer and rarer. So around 70% or so of accidents are at least partly caused by human error. And interestingly enough, this figure has also stayed fairly constant over the previous decades which is also why it's incredibly important to learn about potential illusions, the limitations of us humans operating planes, and also threat and error management to really minimize the risk of human error. And that's it for today. Five interesting facts from human performance and limitations. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something interesting. If you did, consider subscribing, leave a like, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.